Okay, this is Dr. Scott Geller, laser floater expert in Fort Myers, Florida. It is the very end of July, 2021. We're not wearing masks here today, no matter what they say in Washington, D.C. And uh, everybody's healthy in Florida. We have a great patient from Aiken, South Carolina, correct? No, Blackville, South Carolina. Black, excuse me. And how did you find out about me? Online. Online, yeah, yeah. A lot of patients do that. Some patients actually get referred. Uh, you had an interesting story. You had very blurred vision. There we go. Look at that in the video. Very, very blurred vision. Uh, how long after cataract surgery was it? Immediately after my my left procedure on my left eye. I had, yeah. Um, I was uh, had a significant floater after that well surgery. well we can so, see that it's that big opacity there and i've seen this many times uh, you had a multifocal implant put in right. uh, which looked a very nice job it was a very good surgeon up there and uh after the surgery the vitreous gel has a little more wiggle room so it more or less separates from its uh, attachments to the retina and as it pulls away uh, some opacities can go more central where they might have been more peripheral. Yours was fairly significant. But the interesting thing is, did they recognize that immediately when you told them that, that it was a floater? He, he sort of did. Well, the first doctor, I, when I went back, I, could, I couldn't see my surgeon. I saw another guy. He told me that I would get used to it. Um, I went back again, told told my surgeon that I definitely had a problem that I could not see through it. So he did a, um, what was the procedure? Capsulotomy. Yeah, on this left eye and told me that my vision would be better by that afternoon. And it did not change a thing. So I was very upset um, and have just basically just went for, what, five months just dealing with it until I found about found out about you. Yeah, and I gave a paper on this, uh, capsulotomies uh, because of misdiagnosis of floaters. Uh, I, I imagine he had the intention that things would get a little bit better, but of course they didn't. Anyway, uh, we did, uh, you had a fairly, fairly big opacity there in the left eye. Uh, we diminished it, of course. There's always a little something. We, we don't get hung up on the small stuff. Uh, we got this out of your visual axis, correct? Your visual yes, acuity improved. And you're a happy patient, I'm right? I'm very happy. And we even did a little bit on the right eye because you had some stuff there. And that has improved as well, correct? It, sure, it certainly has. And that's I the name of this game. Better. That's the name of this game. There's not too many guys who really have a good handle on it. Uh, there's some people out there that say they can do this, but it never turns out well sometimes, except for me, because I've been doing this uh, for a long, long time. I brought it to the United States, and other guys have followed, but they don't call me for advice, which is sort of silly, because I do have the experience. Anyway, you're a great patient. Uh, we'll try to uh, get a little note to your doctor up there uh, to tell him how we handled this issue. That would be great. Thank Thanks. you so much. You're a great patient.